When Eric Aulis wanted to take his idea for a new business from concept to reality, he had several decisions to make. Pack it in and not pursue the opportunity, roll the dice and take the chance on his own, or seek out a resource to help guide him past those initial fears of becoming an entrepreneur in the Upper Peninsula. He chose the latter option and began working with the MTech Smart Zone a couple of years ago on developing his company Lexel. I'd say it's it's a com- it was it was basically helping us validate the idea in the beginning and giving us being a source of feedback as we grew and then helping us um, grow as we started to get traction on the idea that our customer you know what we took our idea to into a product and you know the customers wanted now we got to figure out how to grow this thing into a profitable company. Luxel helps contractors and labor workers get paid faster through the use of its invoice software. Aulis says that no single idea is unique. However, the execution and drive to move past an obstacle makes the difference in a company's success. Across the United States, says MTech Smart Zone CEO David Rowe, many businesses will start, but many will fail within the first year. He adds that makes the guidance incubators like MTech can provide important to growing regional economies. You know, the challenge is to, to help those people overcome the early turbulence such that they survive and thrive. And, and also, you know, quite frankly, a big part of the recognition is, you know, if, if there's a new business, um, you know, they, you hear people talk about, you know, you, you fail quickly <laughs> such that you don't prolong the, the agony or, or, uh, or, or win or succeed. And, and uh, you know, we, we talk about, you know, those types of dynamics as well. And, you know, lots of experience, uh, you know, in, in helping clients navigate the pitfalls and, and, the, and the, the potential risks out there are, are very important. And, again, sometimes just talking about it gets, gets people beyond that, that fear of, of getting started and, and, or, and maybe going, going in a different direction. Rowe and Aulis agree that entrepreneurs have several qualities that help in building a business. Confidence, a drive to impact the world, and a passion for solving a problem. However, overcoming the fear of getting started takes time. This ecosystem has really grown up uh, over the last, like I could say, 15, 20 years, and I think is on the precipice of really launching forward and growing dramatically. And we're going to see this area continue to thrive and develop in the high technology realm. And again, with some of this incremental funding that we're going to be able to work with partners in the local area, we're going to help, you know, more of the Main Street types of businesses to, and service businesses to help uh, strengthen our local economy and, uh, and business climate. The MTech Smart Zone has helped a variety of companies get started, many of them working on some aspect of emerging technology. In recent months, the Smart Zone has received two major grants to support its mission to help small businesses get started and develop the necessary tools for that business to succeed. Go to abc10up.com to learn more about the MTech Smart Zone and how the business incubator can help a business get started in the Upper Peninsula. With ABC10 and CW5, this is Thomas Fournier.